Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Canva to Google Docs in 2024. So today we're exploring a fantastic synergy between design and word processing. How to connect Canva to Google Docs in 2023. So if you're ready to enhance uh, 2024, sorry. So if you're ready to enhance your document presentation with Canva's design uh, prowess, uh, make sure to stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting Canva to Google Docs. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and access your Canva account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, just go to this URL section and basically type in here canva.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen, main screen of canva.com. Of course, for me, I'm already logged in, but for you, you'll find yourself on something like this. So just open a private tab to show you how it's going to look like for you. So you'll find something yourself on something like this. If you don't know nothing about Canva, you can scroll down to read more information about it. It will take from you one minute, I guess. Yeah, to just have a general idea or, or familiarize yourself with, with it a bit. And of course, if you have an account, go to the top right corner, click on login to log in your account. Or if you don't have an account, click on sign up to sign up to a new account. You can even sign up for free. They have some uh, plans that you can choose from. Of course, the plans uh, will give you, uh, or Canva Pro will give you like a 30 days free trial if you want to try it first without paying a penny. Then, of course, they will even remind you uh, seven days before it ends. If you like it, you can start paying. And if you didn't like it, you can simply cancel it and start with or keep uh, working with the free one. So for me, I'm already logged in. Once you're logged in, of course, into your account, you'll find yourself on something like this. As you can see, uh, it's personal, uh, one person, and I'm using the free plan right here. If you can see, it's from here. So now we will have to go and create your Canva design. So go and click on create a design. You'll find it here at the top right corner. Once you do it, make sure to choose the design that you want. Like, is it a dog? Is it a white, uh, uh, whiteboard, logo, business card, book cover, documents, planner, video, YouTube shorts, flyer, Instagram posts as example. So you can look for whatever you want and they will give you the dimension for whatever you want. Or you can even go with a custom size. Uh, you can choose the width and height on pixels and inch, millimeters and centimeters, whatever suits you. So go and look for whatever you want. So just go and create your Canva design with the templates that suits you first of all. And of course, or any like you can design your graphic poster or any visual content you want to integrate into your Google Docs documents. Canva provides like uh, a lot of templates and customization options to your need for me. I'll not go and create new designs. I already have plenty of them right here. So I'll not go and create a new one, start modifying it. So for you, go and create your design. As we said, just customize it however you want, do whatever you want. And let's say as an example, I want to use this one. Design, I, I have a QR code here, kind of a watermark in here and a small like picture in the background. So for you, after you're created or crafted your design masterpiece in Canva, just go and download it to your computer. Make sure to choose the appropriate file for your design, such as PNG, GPG, ensuring it's ready for insertion into Google Docs. So for me, of course, to download it, go to share button at the top right corner, click on share. And here you will be able to click on download. So you'll be able to download this as PNG, GPG, PDF standard, or even PDF prints. So download it however you want. You can even increase the size or decrease it if you have the actual uh, pro uh, Canva plan. And you can, of course, adjust those settings, a transparent background, compressed file, lower quality. Uh, if you want to, of course, if you have the pro uh, plan. But for me, I don't have it. So I can just choose the file type. And I can even choose the CVG. Other than that, I'll be able to choose anything else. So here, just go and click on download. And as you can see, it's downloading. And soon, it will be downloaded into my PC right here. So I'll just go here and click on save. And as you can see, it's downloaded. What we'll have to do now is simply go and open your Google Docs document. So go and open a new tab. And in this tab, of course, I'll basically just type docs.google.com and hit the enter button. This should log me into my account right away. Of course, if you have an account 
of Google and you're not logged in, you'll be able to log in with that. And if you don't even have a Google account, just go and create one. It should not take from you a lot of time. Let's even remove those. It's empty anyway, but it's fine. So in here, you will have to go for you and open your Google Docs. For me, I'll just go and start with the blank documents as an example. And what do you want in here? This is, of course, where you want to insert like the Gamba design that you added. So this could be a report, presentation, or any other type of document where visual elements would enhance the content. So in the Google Docs as an example, you'll have to go to the location where your document, where you want to insert your document. And the, oh, of course, which is the Canva design. You can, as an example, let's say that's you have a presentation here in Google Docs or a report, and, and like in the following, in and the following like picture, this will explain like I don't know something. I'll just type something in here, and of course for you, make sure to have everything accurate as it should. And now, how can we insert that in here? We can simply just go and open it from your PC and drag it out in here or you can go to the top left corner here insert button go and click on insert then image and of course you can click on upload from computer and simply I'll go where I put it which is here and as you can see it will be inserted without any problems now you'll be able of course to adjust the, the size of it as you can see you will be able to adjust the position of it as you can see you will not be able to adjust it why because you're choosing in line option if you choose it in front of text or behind the text you'll be able now to use it anywhere you want but of course make sure it's not like uh, with your text so make sure to use it wherever you want but make sure it does not interfere with your text you can even choose it like break text uh, text uh, to use wherever you want so you can do like move with text fix position on page position options you can do a lot of other stuff to choose the position of that of course if you like make your changes on your canva design after inserting it into your google docs you can easily update it in google docs just go here and you can simply go and delete that and go and insert the new uh, like image of course you can even do some adjustments to the image as an example you can change the opacity brightness contrast recolor of it position of course this we already went through text wrapping size and rotations so you can do all of that in details if you click on the three dots and adjustments you'll be able to do all of that in details you can even give it a description if you want we have here advanced option of course if you add uh, like a title to your image and this will appear as the tool tip when you publish to the web and yeah i guess that's it so for you already congratulations you've successfully learned how to connect or use canva design to uh, google docs and yeah so thank you for joining me today i hope you like it if you do leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more hate for stories like this one and i'll see you in the next video